say in day-to-day -day life that something is obvious means more often than not that one concedes a note of truth in exchange for a tolerance of the usual hypocrisy and conditioning. You can, for example, make your opposite admit as being obvious that there is no such thing as a theory that is absolutely true. That will not stop them in any way from continuing to brandish their truths as before. Their momentary concession passes by a sordid business in which they buy their future peace of mind, a life without questions. Hence, there is no higher aim than the obvious. It is to approach the closest to a truth which we know to be inaccessible, but whose gleam we can see. The obvious is a protection. Not only does it make people run away, but it also deceives by its rapid commonness and by the fact that in flat people's minds, whatever is simple cannot be serious. Of all the things people do, at home and in private, usually with close friends, one activity alone is subject to extraordinary interference and control by outside forces. This is no accident. They recognize its power. Even if only for a few moments, individuals can release a power and energy from within that renders any system of society or regime meaningless. It is a liberator. Even an individual in solitary confinement can indulge in it, and in their fantasies travel into any situation and possibility unfettered. And at the moment of orgasm itself, be both blissfully vulnerable and undeniably free. Elsewhere, filled by energy, Accordingly, pressure is exercised upon everyone to limit their release of this power. Of course, the nature of this pressure varies by place and era. When specific laws become unenforceable for a time, more subtle methods are used. Social attitudes, anxiety, guilt, fear of ridicule and failure are all exploited and diseases that attack only those who indulge in specific activities are introduced. Most people give in to this pressure in one way or another, permanently crippling their individual growth. It is up to everyone to accept the power their bodies are endowed with and decide what they are going to do with it. To do nothing and ignore it, to use it grudgingly in the restricted ways that present no threat to the system, or to use it fully exploring its unique potential for pleasure and psychic fulfillment. We have found that once this aspect of our deepest personality is faced and assimilated, all other aspects of our daily lives and aspirations fall into place.